and we were there to clean up the mess, to cut taxes for the wealthiest 1%, lower them for the middle class, to support families, to start moving forward on gun control in real ways while the conservatives rosy up to the American gun lobbies. We've continued to step up and keep the Canadians safe. Let them bring assault weapons back to our streets. We'll keep Canadians safe. Wow, is he ever losing control of himself? <laughs> screaming and hollering like that. Mr. Speaker, it's his press release that says that in Toronto, auto thefts are up 300% since he took office. His solution? is to hold a summit. He held a summit on food prices. Food prices went up. He held a summit on housing. Housing costs doubled. How much is crime going to rise after all the bigwigs go to his summit? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, he still has time to change his perspectives and get behind our initiatives to fight organized crime, to fight auto theft, and to stand up for Canadians. He cut thousands of jobs under his previous government uh, from border services. We've invested in them, and we will continue to. I'll say it soft and slowly so the Prime Minister can understand. We cut auto theft by 50%, right. by half. Yes, while reducing the cost of the bureaucracy. And yes, we are voting against him putting hundreds of millions of dollars more into high-priced consultants and back-office bureaucrats that don't stop crime. My common sense plan will scan every container going out of the four biggest ports right. and put 75 border agents to do the inspections on the ground. Why can't we have more boots on the ground and fewer bureaucrats in offices? Here, 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 here. We're investing in them. We're giving more money so they can do their work. Uh, the, the common sense is nonsense that the leader of the opposition is putting forward. We know that they are all about cuts, not investments to keep a Canadian safe. Give someone else well, why don't we just look at the CBSA's own numbers on this? In the first year of the Conservative government, there were a total of 12,673 CBSA officers. In the last year, there were 14,113. Again, I know the Prime Minister is not great with numbers, but 14,000 is bigger than 12,000, right? And by the way, if he wants to analyze what whether stolen cars are in shipping containers, why doesn't he accept my plan to scan those shipping containers? Wouldn't that be common sense? Yeah.